Good job. What's the numbers TV? It's your boy Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I provided. Today we back with another profile piece. This one is on Mr. Ruggs, real name Dal McKinney. In this video we're going to take a look at his early life growing up in Brooklyn, New York, where he was known to be one of the younger members of the rapper's fabulous street fam crew. Next, we will look at Ruggs move to Atlanta, where after a few years of settling in, He'll become one of the main faces in the Atlanta nightlife and club promotion scene. And lastly, we will look at what Ruggs has going on currently, business and lifestyle wise. Mr. Ruggs, real name Dow McKinney, is from Brooklyn, New York, and is the youngest of three brothers. Growing up, he would usually be one of the youngest kids hanging out with the older guys in the neighborhood. As he became a teenager, he would be in adult clubs with older Brooklyn guys like Don Quan and Young Gav. Eventually, Ruggs would become a part of the rapper's fabulous crew, which was called Street Fam a group of mostly Brooklyn guys from the Breedway Projects and surrounding areas that would travel with the rapper to New York City clubs and out-of-state shows. Street Fam would make headlines in New York City hip-hop circles for years, with rumors of them being a stick-up crew that would catch unsuspected athletes and entertainers and rob them while out partying at different nightclubs in the city. In fact, Ruggs' oldest brother, Shamel McKinney, and also a member of Street Fam, would lose his life in November 2007 after being stabbed outside a club in an incident with another guy over a chain being snatched. After years of living in Brooklyn, Ruggs decided to take his talents to Atlanta, Georgia, which in the 2000s has been a hotbed and has a legendary party scene. Fabulous and the street fam have deep ties to ATL, as they've been going down there for extended periods of time his whole career, and especially during the BMF era. The level up in Atlanta was an overnight for Ruggs, as it took some time for him to find his way. But eventually he would start promoting parties and clubs, building his name up enough throughout the city to start throwing an annual black party, which was attended by heavy hitters from all over. Ruggs will also become a brand ambassador for Duce, which is a cognac liquor company in business with Jay-Z that he will promote wherever he went in the city. Having relations with some of the biggest artists in the game will help Ruggs tremendously once he moved on to opening his own establishments, like a lounge he was a part of previously and his current business, a restaurant called Copper Cove in the upscale Buckhead area of Atlanta. But once everything was looking up and moving at a steady positive pace, tragedy would strike again when in October of 2015, Ruggs' other brother, Carl M.D. McKinney, would be shot and killed in downtown Brooklyn. Once again, Ruggs would have to deal with losing another brother in a violent way. But Ruggs, rather than folding or breaking, he would use the situation as motivation to continue moving forward and putting on for his brothers in the process. Everyone has a past, and Ruggs acknowledges that. But recently, as his latest business has been doing extremely well and has become a hotspot in the city of Atlanta for the who's who to hang out at, He's been receiving backlash from certain members of the community who are trying to pull strings behind the scenes to get Ruggs and Copper Cove shut down. But the people in the city love Ruggs, and it looks like he's here to stay. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. There's a quick profile piece on Ruggs, Mr. Ruggs on Instagram. Like I said, I'm going to start doing some profile pieces on people that's alive doing their thing right now. So if you want to go tune into what they got going on, you go follow them on Instagram and be firsthand of what they got going on as far as like now and in the future. And one more thing I want to touch on is the whole thing about, you know, Ruggs acknowledge that he has a past. You know what I'm saying? It might not be the cleanest past. It might not be the dirtiest past, but he has a past like a lot of people do. And now he's doing positive things that like he's running a business, a successful business. And it's people that's hating on him. You know what I'm saying? That people from the neighborhood or different people that don't fit the same demographic that he caters to are starting to hate on his business. You know what I'm saying? Call police on him. And it's just like, you know, if we go from people that go from doing negative to positive, right? and we continue to let people attack them and bring them down, then it's like, we're never gonna get that positive side of the person because when they do try to make that change, we're getting everything trying to push them back towards the negative. So that's why I wanted to do a profile piece on Ruggs, you know what I'm saying? Because he is out there doing his thing, regardless of whatever he's been a part of, even though he, he might not have been a part of nothing, it might just be all hearsay, but he's doing something positive now. So we gotta shine light on that. If you ever in the Atlanta area, go check out Copper Cove, it's lit, lit spot, food is great, the vibe is cool. And you know what I'm saying? You might run across your favorite rap or entertainer or ball player son or video vixen, something like that while you're there in the meantime. So I just want to touch on that real quick. Like I said, it's a quick profile piece. Also, I got the membership. Anybody want to join, become a member of What's the Numbers TV. I got the email for any business. And I also got the merch if you want to support. But like I said, man, this is What's the Numbers TV. We appreciate y'all. Like I said, we back to work. We appreciate all you guys that have been supporting from the beginning. And we about to start flooding the net again. But it's What's the Numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. We out of here. Peace.